Guys, how often do you see a 3000x in literally just one single year? This is how crazy crypto is. And now in the depths of the bear market, this is the best time to discuss the last 3000x that we've had, guys. And today we're going to discuss Gala Games, none other than Gala Games. Guys, check this out. From late 2020, the price was three zeros and two, and it literally shot to above 20 cents, which makes it at 20 cents was a thousand X, and the peak was actually even 82 cents. It's even more than a 3000 X. It was a four thousand X. It's literally one of the absolute best success stories of the last crypto bull run, and that's Gala Games, the NFT gaming sensation, and one of the biggest. Uh, gaming projects in the world of crypto and today we'll discuss what are the possibilities for the next bull run how uh, strongly can it succeed in the 2025 2024 bull run after the next bitcoin halving can it do anything close to a thousand x again or and can it still do something similar is it somewhat similar to uh, the bitcoin halvings that we've had because they have the similar um, tokenomics model of having a halving and actually having a halving every single year so today guys we're discussing a deep dive in the potential of gala games some possibilities of uh, price predictions for gala games tokenomics super important very unclear with gala games we're gonna go deep into the tokenomics of gala games and also what is the on-chain success what is the real real uh, success of uh, gala so not only the price but really the transaction amounts and the amount of users that they really have is it really actually at, at the relevant levels compared to, to, to the price and it, do we actually right now at two cents do we have really a good price if we compare to all the past on-chain transactions all of that in today's video so guys if you're new here that's a fantastic opportunity to join me to keep analyzing lots of more really important and interesting cryptocurrencies many altcoins that can definitely do at least 100x in the next bull run and as we've said today it's gala so guys first and most important in my opinion is we're actually gonna first discuss the tokenomics thing okay? First of all, according to CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap and really most, like if you do a Google search, this is really more or less the numbers that we're getting. 7.5 billion out of the max amount of 50 billion tokens for Gala, which makes it this mar uh, market cap at the day we're recording the video in December 2022. Uh, 193 million market cap. But it's an extremely uh, odd circulating supply and soon you'll understand why. But this is what CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap are telling us. Now, if we go to uh, Gala's actually documentation, and so this is what actually makes the most sense from their uh, really tokenomics that they've released, okay? So like, to me, when I was researching what are the tokenomics that they really have, this made the most sense, right? So they said that uh, they were, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, distributing this amount of Gala tokens per day between uh, 2021 until 2022 and then from July 2022 it was halved and then uh, the amount was half of this amount which is eight and a half million so to make it a little bit more uh, easier it means that during this time the amount uh, in all of this year was supposed to be six billion tokens emitted and then in 2022 uh, we start we are supposed to have new three a billion tokens from July 22 until July 23 but soon you'll understand what is still doesn't really catch up completely with me at least so um, if everything's correct when it comes to the halvings that they have and from their own documentation on a gala website um, so basically they were supposed to have 12 billion tokens from July 2020 uh, into, uh, between July 2020 until July 2021, it was supposed to be 12 billion. Then here we were supposed to have 6 billion, which makes it a total of 18 billion until uh, July 2022. And then from July 2022 until July 2023, we're supposed to get extra 3 billion tokens, which should make it 21 billion tokens by July 2023. That's only if we take this into the account in any case uh let's say let's just say it's now july 2022 so it's it means we're supposed to have 18 billion tokens it's still much much more than what we have here or in coin market cap 
So this is really first number one, really important discrepancy. Now, next discrepancy that we need to really see is on Coin Bureau website, one of the biggest YouTubers, uh, crypto YouTubers in the world who adds a lot of value. And I personally also learned a lot from him. And check this out in the article on his website. This is from August 2022 after the last halving. Um, <clears throat> we have all of that and he also says that it's the tokenomics are a little bit unclear and according to their own page the max supply is like this and da, da, da. and in August the amount on Etherscan on on-chain uh, it was 36 billion okay and now it's 38 billion point eight okay so we basically had 2 billion new tokens on chain and this is really really important data because this is really on the blockchain of ethereum okay this is what we have so we've had two billion more between august when um <clears throat> excuse me when uh, coin bureau wrote this article and to uh, the recording of this video now now I made a little bit of a calculation and there were 117 days between this article here to the video that I'm recording now and uh, this is the amount that was supposed to be emitted per day uh, according to uh, according to Gala's uh, website. This is this amount, 8.5 million tokens. So uh, it means that between um, <clears throat> August 2022 until today we were supposed to have a new 1 billion token on the ethereum blockchain but uh here we know that they had 36 billion when uh, uh coin bureau wrote this article and now we have 38.8 so uh it's still like 2 billion more so something is not completely clear to me personally i don't understand i did the research pretty long research here i don't understand what is the real circulating supply of gala so guys if you have any insight on that please let us know in the comments that's gonna be super helpful but anyway what we do know is either the uh um either the supply is 7.5 billion or it's uh 18 billion approximately or it's really the blockchain data which is 38 billion which to me personally makes the most sense but we definitely need clarity in order to be able to understand what's up so that's the, really the most most important thing that we just have to start from that because guys we have to know what is what is the circulating supply especially 38 billion or 7 billion it's a huge difference you know like 38 so 50 billion is a fully diluted of 1.2 billion so if they do have 38 billion circulating supply right now it means actually the current market cap is 1 billion not 200 million okay so all of that is going to be extremely important in extrapolating what's going to be the value of gala in the future so that was the tokenomics part and now that we have this behind us guys we should keep going with gala's price action specifically so as we mentioned guys uh regardless of the uh, tokenomics that is unclear and that is definitely something that I don't like a lot about uh, Gala project right now look we have to still remember that Gala is one of the main players right now in the NFT gaming space and uh, in, in a way there uh, so to me fundamentally one of the main reasons why I'm interested in Gala is just because they have so many games so most games just have uh, most NFT projects uh, gaming projects they have one single game most of the time and if it's not successful then they're not gonna be successful but Gala Studios Gala Games they also want to develop a blockchain for gaming and they um, basically have many games that they're developing so they just need a few games that are successful and they definitely have a lot of traction like according to many articles they have approximately 1 million active users uh, at least they've had them uh, within the past year so bottom line guys right now gala is still one of the most successful uh fundamentally uh nft gaming projects out there and because they are developing many games the way i see it it increases the chances that they're gonna be successful okay so that's the fundamental big reason and lastly guys what we need to remember uh, non-financial advice but as investors uh, what investors should remember is just if something has done a 3,000 4,000 X in literally one year okay from uh, November December here 2020 until November December 2021 like you know you the way I see it you gotta pay attention okay when you see such success story in one year you just gotta pay attention okay like the early p like the early times of Bitcoin okay Bitcoin had done also something like that in 2011 uh, you know when it was priced nothing and then it went to 30 something dollars 
And, uh, you know, the, the smart investors back then, uh, they were paying attention. Even if they didn't understand what's up with Bitcoin, they paid attention. Because if something does uh, more than a thousand X in less than a year uh, or a year, you need to definitely at least learn about it, what's up. So that being said, so we covered why we like fund why I like fundamentally Gala and the tokenomics. And guys, now let's finally uh, have some discussion about the price action of Gala. And now we can also take into the account what is really the tokenomics. Uh, okay, so first of all, as we've mentioned, I'm just gonna turn it, guys, to logarithmic because again, the su uh, success of Gala was absolutely insane. So to make sense of what's going on, we'll need to do uh, logarithmic. And by the way, guys, if you've been su subscriber and if you saw many other videos that I have, normally I analyze on trading uh, view, but just because Gala had much more history and there were no uh, really centralized exchanges that had um, Gala far enough in 2020, I think they were only available in Uniswap at the time. Uh, I just can't go far enough. Okay, so on trading view, it's only in September 2021 and the price was already quite large. But we need to see here in CoinGecko just because this is the farthest information that we have. So as we mentioned, it had done 4,000 X and we got to pay attention because not uh, any project is able to do something like that so many times. Now, look, guys, because the market cap is already either you know, in the hundreds of millions or uh, 1 billion, depends on the uh, circulating supply. Um, <clears throat> Gala is already quite a large project, even at 2 cents. Now, I've seen so many videos say, guys, 2 cents Gala is like the best thing in the world. A and it could definitely be a really, really nice price, depending if really we are at the bottom for crypto or not right now. Um, and, you know, it bled tremendously. And one of the important things is that we are actually back to uh, levels that we were um, we were in the region of two to three cents, even slightly below, let's say between one cent to three cent for a really long time. You know, after this major explosion, exp explosion in the beginning of the bull run uh, of uh, crypto in 2021, we uh, finally were consolidating here from three cents, uh, one cent, two cent, three cent, and now we're back to this region. So. Basically, if uh, Gala will be able to stay at this range and not drop below one cent, this is going to be really powerful and this is going to be, let's call it like that, a really, really high probability that uh, Gala, uh, that this is the floor for Gala and this is a fantastic accumulation phase. But when it comes to the potential from here, you know, basically think of it like that, like it's already done a thousand X, right? So if we actually go with uh, the on-chain data of Etherscan, so if they have 38 billion tokens and the market cap is 1 billion, <clears throat> that would mean that a thousand X from here uh, is gonna put it at 1 trillion um, uh, market cap, which is, uh, guys, if you know, it's like uh, currently three times more than the current market cap of Bitcoin and even Axie Infinity actually picked at 10 billion in the last uh, bull run here, 10 billion. So, I mean, you know, if Gala is going to be the absolute hub of all NFT gaming in the world in the future, maybe in like 10, 20, 30 years or something like that, maybe Gala, yeah, maybe Gala can be 1 trillion, but you know, it's definitely not going to not gonna happen in one cycle in 2025. Uh, Non-financial advice, and you know, we uh, I'm not really digging in my price predictions here, so saying that Gala is going to be 1 trillion market cap, extremely unlikely. Um, and as we've mentioned, this circulating supply is just the least likely to me uh, to be uh, the true circulating supply. So uh, personally, I'm going to go with this one, and more importantly, just the max supply, really, the uh, absolute max supply that Gala has. So according also to this one, a thousand X from here will be um, basically one trillion market cap. But uh, that being said, Gala can still increase a lot, okay? And especially if Gala will keep falling in price, it will definitely be able to do another. And basically another really important, guys, that you have to remember that many new investors, once we have the next bull run again, and many people are going to analyze once again, okay, what was the most successful in the previous times and what should we invest in? Guys, everybody's going to look at Gala, at the 3,000, 4,000 X it made, and it's gonna draw a lot of attention, and especially fundamentally, they'll continue to be successful. Uh, Gala will have fantastic potential. So, that being said, guys, now <clears throat> I want to compare another really important metric, and that's the uh, on-chain analytics 
of etherscan <clears throat> compared to gala's price okay that's really important because we really this is one of the major most most major tools that we really can have to know is gala undervalued right now is it overvalued is it uh, decently valued, okay? Like, how can we really, especially in this difficult bear market and that Gala is already down 96, 97 percent, uh, percent, excuse me. So, on-chain analytics is among the few things that we can really utilize and do in order to really extract the real value of uh, Gala. So, with that being said, we're gonna use Etherscan once again here, just on the analytics side. And we're gonna really try to understand here, is Gala undervalued right now? Is it overvalued or is it decently valued? So uh, as you can see right now, Gala has um, in the thousands, okay, a four figure amount of uh, wallets that are transferring Gala or doing something with Gala, or maybe they're trading on uh, Uniswap or something like that, or they just do some activity, okay, with uh, some activity with Gala coins. Um, so, and we've had, as we mentioned, we've had a big spike, uh, approximately kind of closer to the FTX collapse here. So, um, but generally, even b without the spike, you can see guys that generally in 2022, you can see that, uh, we were at the four figures at the four figure amount, uh, in 2022 on chain for, uh, the amount of transfers per one day. Now, if we compare back to September to March, okay, of 2021, and check this out, uh, we actually had, there were some like really small spikes here and there, but generally you can see the amounts here are three figures amounts, okay, like 404, 238, and so on. That's from March 2021 until really uh, the beginning of September. Uh, actually, excuse me, here there was a halving in July, so you see there was a little spike, but still we kind of subsided back down to the uh, three figures for most of this time. And then this was the listing on Binance, and uh, then we actually started having finally close, like the lower four-figure amounts of transactions on Gala. So first of all, first really, really important thing that we have to really understand, guys, is that, <coughs> excuse me, that today this price for Gala, 2.5 cents, is more undervalued, much more undervalued, like approximately 10x more undervalued to these times here from March 2021 until August 2021 and that's pretty awesome because like we literally had another so from two cents to the peak we literally had another 40x in 2021 okay but now we're according to on-chain we're still actually now more undervalued than in 2021 that's a fantastic sign and that's definitely showing us that gala is much more undervalued than the 2021 but what we have to remember 2021 was the bull run and now we're in the bear market so of course it makes sense that we're more undervalued now but it's still a fantastic sign that we're 10x more undervalued with the same price that we had back then now after we made this comparison guys i want to show you uh, another really interesting comparison because you know here this was still at least for altcoins it was still not the bull market kind of bitcoin started having a move here but for most altcoins it was still not really the major bull market as you can see even with gala right it was under one cent and it <laughs> literally shot up to three cents so um basically i want to compare guys actually the late 2020 these fantastic prices for gala that it was literally a hundred x below one cent or so uh with a price so back then guys there was really much much less activity on chain for gala and back then it was really in the do uh, dozens right it was like approximately you see 54 60 transactions 90 transactions 30 transactions per day um you know tremendously less than what it has now so we can just say that according to on-chain right now, we're approximately, not exactly 100x because, you know, we're in the lower range of the four figures and here it was like, you know, 78, 35, 50 or so and here and there it was even 100 transactions. But still, we're uh, more than a 10, more than a 10x, um, <coughs> more, um, <coughs> having more transactions. So, you know what I mean? So, uh Gala has definitely seen real progress and there is a reason that the price is still at two cents and not like back to these prices of zero, one or so. 
But as you can see, what I wanted to show you guys is that we at in late 2020 we were at the dozens, okay, like 40, 50, and then in 2021, in uh, March or so, right, we got to basically 10x more on-chain real transactions. But what is interesting, guys, okay, is that the price was like. Um, zero zero two cents okay and here so basically let's put it like this here february 26th this was a hundred x from here okay so this was approximately a 10x and this was another 10x and this was from here to here it was a hundred x in the price okay but on chain excuse me but on chain it was only a 10x so it shows us really the power of the bull run basically right so i mean Basically, uh, this is what happened really not only with Gala, but many, many other coins. Like the kind of the real on-chain stuff was a 10x, but the real prices were 100x. That's why savvy investors in early 2021 were taking major, major profits. But in Gala's case, as we guys know, we even kept going much further up. Um, so that being said, now guys, if we compare really to these prices, okay, so we are now um, really 100x more than these prices here right but the amount of on-chain activity is not really 100x higher okay but it's uh, at least maybe here at least at the spikes of uh, early november that was approximately 100x so if gala's on-chain activity will actually start spiking slightly back up to the levels of november uh, 13 here and if we'll stay there you know if we'll consolidate at these levels uh, basically, then we will be 100x from late 2020, and then you can you can see that like late 2020 was really like the absolute best price you could ever get for Gala. Okay, you you can see it really in the chart. And guys, remember this is logarithmic, right? This is <laughs> what it looks like linearly. You ca you cannot even see what was happening back then. So from here to here, it was a 3,000, 4,000 x, and guys, right now we are not as undervalued as here but as we said if the on-chain activity gets to here and stays to the levels of uh, november 2022 then we will be 100x more uh, uh having more on-chain activity than uh, november 2020 hence if the price is only 100x higher than here then we're at the same exact relative valuation with november 2020 when we've had the absolute best price for gala but guys also bear that in mind if we actually do uh not necessarily jump back up up to these levels but we keep consolidating here at uh, basically really the um amount of on-chain activity we've had throughout the whole 2022 which is like the lower four figures that's why you may argue that maybe one cent or so at least on chain wise could be a more fair of a price for uh, gala or fair in the sense of if we compare it to the most undervalued times gala ever had and of course guys uh if you want to compare to the really the peaks of the bull run and again this is the power of the bull run that's why it's extremely important to take profits non-financial advice um so basically we were here we've had some crazy spikes here right because many many people were trading but look the let's put it like this uh, um let's put it like this we've had here and there five figures amounts of transfer but it, it wasn't really sustained okay so the more kind of realistic amounts were like 6k you see 9k maybe 7k uh 10k transactions per day and now we have still uh 2k approximately transactions per day so on chain during the really the absolute peak of gala uh, right over here at 80 cents at the absolute peak um we were only on chain wise we were only approximately 5x uh having more transactions okay 5x but the price now 2.5 cent uh if we compare it to 80 cents that's uh, almost a 40x difference okay guys it's really important to remember that for the next bull run just you know save this uh, video right now and just remember it for the next uh bull run uh so when the emotions start to take over okay and we feel that we're the kings of the world that we know everything <laughs> we were successful investors in crypto come back to this video guys and you know check uh, have a reality check remember that you're not dreaming and it's a uh, real life 
And uh, once we start to get so overvalued in price in comparison to the real activity on chain, that's the time to take profits, non-financial advice. So guys, that was the uh, on-chain, right? So that was the on-chain. And lastly, guys, this is for the conclusion of the video. Let's really think uh, logically the price prediction for Gala. How successful can it really be? So first of all, as we've mentioned, we don't know the full information on the tokenomics. So that's why we're going to go more conservative. And I personally going to go with the uh, Ether scan, uh, basically circulating supply, uh, which Gala actually also say. It can be found here, and this link leads us leads us over uh, here to the 38 billion. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this this amount, which means the real market cap right now is one billion. Okay, so first of all, let's put it like this: a 10x to me is like almost a no-brainer. Like a 10x with Gala almost feels easy the way I see it. Why? Because uh, the peak of Axie Infinity, as we've mentioned, was 10 billion market cap. And this was like in the last bull run, you know, like think about, you know, there's just so much development really going on in the NFT gaming space right now. So by the next bull run, whether it's going to be 2024, 2025 or even later, the fundamentals of NFT gaming is just going to be so much more advanced and so much more successful than, um, you know, the point here in November 2021 for Axie is that, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's very reasonable and likely that... Um, the next peak for uh, the next big NFT gaming project in the next bull run. Um, well, let's call it like this. It's not like an ex uh, extremely conservative, but it's decent in my opinion that it will get to maybe just under 100 billion. Okay, I think it, it can actually even get to more than that because again, bull runs are absolutely crazy. Um, but anyway, 100, bill 100 billion, you know, it's like 10x from the last one which seems kind of reasonable, not way too crazy, not one trillion, I think that's extremely unlikely in my opinion. Um, but it's like not completely conservative. Like on the conservative side, I would even say 30 billion, maybe 40 billion is a bit more likely. So that being said for Gala, if Gala will be the main leader of the NFT gaming space by 2025, which is, as we mentioned, fundamentally, in my opinion, it's very reasonable to assume because they have many games and they already have success and a lot of activity a lot of players a lot of people are using gala right now and they even have more games so the way i see it it's decent to uh, assume gala could be among the leaders or the very leader or among the leaders of the nft gaming space by the next bull run so as we mentioned on the conservative uh, um excuse me so 30 to 40 x is also quite reasonable from here and especially this is just gonna get us to the uh, last all-time high and remember the next DGEN investors in the next wave are gonna look at the all-time high and gonna assume yeah like it's gonna get there so I'm just gonna buy and buy and buy up until the all-time high and that's what could get it to the all-time high okay uh, once again even though we have uh, a lot of uh, supply so let's put it like this so the most like no-brainer scenario 10x from here super easy for Gala uh, 30 to 40x, I think, let's call it a little, um, kind of conservative. Like, it, it would mean that Gala will be, as we've mentioned, still the leader in the NFT gaming space. And uh, the next bull run for NFT gaming will be kind of, kind of okay, but not very crazy. Okay? And then, of course, guys, if it's 100 billion, okay, and as we mentioned, Gala is still the leader. And we have a little bit more of a crazy bull run. Uh, and a little bit more of a parabola like we've uh, parabola like we've had here. Um, 100x from here would put Gala at a 2.5 dollars, which I think could be really fantastic. But that I would say is definitely not on the. That is not the absolute most degen I can really think about. But that is uh, I would say that's a, a mildly degen scenario. So I would personally not be counting on that. Uh, on 100x but of course if we'll get it that's fantastic i'd be very happy and lastly guys remember uh from all the analysis that we've made in this video and guys if you appreciate the value you've got from the video give a subscribe give a like give a bell notification button and everything and join me in this really awesome journey of uh analyzing crypto for the next bull run every single sunday 100x for gala seems kind of reasonable but guys remember if actually gala will keep going down and if we do analyze it with the on-chain activity and if at least it will be as undervalued as it was um 
<clears throat> over here in late 2020 because according to on chain we're still not undervalued as late 2020 okay we need to go to approximately one cent or the on chain has to like keep up uh and have uh, and be higher uh than here so if the on chain remains the same and we will be as undervalued as in november 2020 that would mean that gala would be priced approximately at one cent um and when it comes to technical analysis guys i don't think it's very crazy because you know like we're consolidating right now in this range really important range of two to three cents and you can see that also specifically at two cents we really stayed for a very long time so that's why you know gala definitely has a really really good support here at two cents two and something cents but guys just because also here in um, the middle of 2021 gala actually collapsed a little bit under one cent but then came back quickly you know it it could happen again and uh, especially you know just like it's crazy in the parabola in the bull run it can be also crazy in the bear markets like many altcoins collapsed in the covid dump of march 2020 so uh you know i would just say that uh, non-financial advice we definitely could already be at the bottom for gala here um but i think it's still possible it will be a one cent or so uh and if we do get a price like one cent or so then you can just calculate all of the analytics all of the price predictions that we've already made here right so a 10 billion would put it like a 25x uh 30 40 billion market cap that will be like a 100x and then uh if we do get to a 100 billion market cap with gala collapsing um like a you know 75 percent from here or so uh then it's gonna be like a 300 400 500 x now we're talking about the really really crazy gains in crypto so guys i'm gonna keep analyzing of course gala gala is really one of the most interesting projects for me in the nft uh, gaming sector uh i'm gonna do more videos also about gala and also about other uh cryptocurrencies in general and nft gaming ge uh, gems so yeah thank you very much for joining this video once again and being with me here on sunday so guys subscribe if you haven't already and i wish you guys a fantastic fantastic weekend and a fantastic week ahead cheers